Hi, this is Matt Graney, and this is Rich Moore, the director of this episode. And this is John Beatty, the writer. And here we go with the main title again. Still with the old pre-Mr. Burns and <laughs> man-eating sandwich with tongs. You know the the red ceiling of this grocery store always bugged me because I, I thought that it didn't indicate what the what the environment was. And uh, this was back in the early days when when um, when we were still trying to figure out the colors, and uh, we realized that if if a color could indicate what the object was, we were actually going to try to do that instead of some of the wackier colors. Still with that crowd that we ended up losing. <laughs> Whatever happened to them? The old Lisa scene. Now this be, the, this main title sequence was inspired by the uh, Fred Flint, you know, the Flintstones. Uh, uh, Fred rushing home. Yeah, the, the original Flintstones. Yeah, I think. And I thought that the animation would be better, actually. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm leaving. I remember there was much uh, discussion whether she should be brushing side to side or, or up and down. We made a conscious decision to put him in... Uh, in, uh, in briefs brief rather than jockeys. Yeah, yeah, the comedy version. <laughs> 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 it's very hard to figure out how much Homer weighs exactly. Mm. 239. Yeah, that's one of those magic scales that has 239 actually printed. <laughs> <laughs> Just keeping you on your toes, babe. <laughs> 239 pounds! Oh, I'm a blip. Why are all the good things so tasty? So now on, exercise every morning. You're not a blimp, Homer. You're my big, cuddly teddy bear. Babylone. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, give me a break. Wow, cool, man. <laughs> Oh, hey, it's uh, bandage to get it taped together from our home. Smashed it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! Oh, I'm at 39 pounds! No way, yo! Why was I cursed with this weakness for snacks? That's a good shot. <laughs> Never knew if people would be able to read it. That's the, the uh, light fixture on the ceiling. Or... Don't strain yourself, dear. Good idea, March. By the way, this Friday night, I'm going to be attending a little get-together with the boys at work. Eugene I'm starting to sound a little really bit more like his second season self. Mm -hmm. Is this some kind of stag party? No, no, March. It's going to be a very classy, a teen crumpet kind of thing. Mm. Eugene Fisk, isn't he your assistant? No. My supervisor. Didn't he used to be your assistant? Hey, what is this? The Spanish exposition? Sorry, Homer. Uh-oh. <laughs> Female man. Female carrier bike. Is this Maggie Roswell's first appearance? Where's my spy camera? I think it might. I think it is. Where is my spy camera? Where's my spy camera? Where's my spy camera? Here's your stupid spy camera! Oh. Thanks, man. The, the uh, doors start stop well, bending okay. after yeah, this, this you know, thing. when they swap this land. It really works. Cause I got a lot of spying to do. <laughs> That's pretty good. Oh, oh, yeah. oh we're ambitious. Yeah, yeah. Man. Yeah. Now we're just tired and. <laughs> <laughs> Again, very boring for its time. <laughs> Things were very conservative in the early 1990s. <laughs> we had to be careful about how that was depicted. Ew, gross. Mom, Bart was taking a picture of his butt. Oh, sure, like I'm really gonna Hey, we got to say butt a lot. Yeah. Stop it, you two. And now we say oh, ass. Nice <laughs> Since it's just the four of us tonight, we're having dinner at the Rusty Barnacle. Yay! Trip. Oh, Mom, can't we just grab a burger at only four of us? Who escaped? Your father. 
He's having a boys' night out. Just as I was asking myself, where did my seven-year-old smoke level just really adds a lot of hydrogen? Hydrogen is so disgusting. <laughs> it's not disgusting. <laughs> Given me the well, these are, they they really over <laughs> the whole world. I see you. The one thing that matters most to me in the whole world. Married tomorrow. I'm going to know just how you felt that day. I love you, Dad. I love you, son. Where am I? I remember that was planet something that Sam actually said to one of the animators. Mm -hmm. Where are you from? The planet Cornball? We all fell on the floor laughing, so that, that's what I got in the yes, show. Sir. I'm proud to say I'm the creator of Lenny and Carl, perhaps the richest of all Simpsons characters. <laughs> well, that... Now, John, is, is it not this Scott Platter gag yours, uh, too? Yeah, I, I spent all afternoon, the whole afternoon on this anagram. I should have been working on Act 2, but I just I got obsessed with it. It was worth it. <laughs> now you can get anagrams off the internet. The anagram makers. This was pre-internet. The party next door seems to be He's an abacus for it. Could you please ask them to quiet down a little bit, please? We didn't really type that stuff back then. <laughs> hey, hi. <laughs> Wasn't the original line go to hell? <laughs> what? I seem to remember. Hmm. <laughs> Here you go. There you are. For the baby. And one squid platter. Uh, now there's a cartoon convention I think we used only once. The, we did it on the Tracy Ullman show and the old journey to green. Yeah, yeah. Just be excused for a minute. Okay. That's an odd squid. Kept it on to be for a while. Okay. Carl had a different voice. Too. One last taste of Bachelor Freedom. Now, of course, this is our euphemistic version of a uh, Bachelor beach pi party. <laughs> Princess Cashmere. Queen of the Mysterious East. I was always proud that people on the internet noticed that she was coming out of the kitchen and there was a angry dishwasher back in there <laughs> watching her eggs. We're in hell. It's the little thing. Look at him squirm. Oh, <laughs> oh, for it, <laughs> A lot of ADR in here. Little edible. Uh, Rage going on there, I think. <laughs> <laughs> we use that camera effect a lot in the first season. The, the, photographers the flash and the nice. twist out on the photo. I'd like to welcome our new member, Bart Simpson. Oh, people, people, uh, don't applaud. Let's get to work. And this was a big deal to put a red gel over the scene. My goodness, quite exciting. Extremely sexy. wanted it to look like a dark we'll call scene. the work of Helmut Newton. Who's the sexy lady, Bart? Beats me, but the guy dancing was ah, my Ah, sophisticated, <laughs> sophisticated <laughs> reference, yes, Helmut Newton. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. Bart, I really appreciate a print of your well, masterpiece. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, guys. No can do I once said in an interview that Bart, I said this facetiously, that Bart was based on a photo by Diane Arbus of that kid in Central Park holding the, uh, the, the toy hand grenade in his hand, which is not. I just did. And I got a letter from the guy in the photo yep. saying he wanted some and money. He, <laughs> no, he just said, no, he was actually very appreciative, and he said he, he just wanted to reassure he, he grew up to be very okay. regular, well, cool, normal guy. So there it says copies five cents and ten cents. <laughs> so if the fans would please stop reminding me of that, <laughs> I'm sorry. Wow. Oh. Now, what, what, like now what exactly are they excited about in that photo? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> well, I think, yes, I, I've, that's a very good criticism of the story. I think George Meyer brought it up once. It's not nearly an exciting enough photo. <laughs> well, wasn't the whole thing inspired by the Rob Lowe 
Yes, I mean, and, and that makes sense if you have a sex video, but <laughs> the photo is much too tame to explain the way people are acting. I think it, I forget if it made the air. At one point, travel, the, the photo travels across the country, and somebody in Japan had a picture of it. Yeah, I remember that. It's very yes. mild photograph. His name's Homer Simpson. As Burns is old office. First season office. Oh, the the vault of bear yellow too. I'd like to see our mm -hmm. style. The bear is yellow too. So the the white polar bear is also <laughs> yellow. <laughs> what are we laughing at? <gasps> One glaze and one scratch and win, please. You look familiar, sir. Are you on the television or something? Sorry, buddy. You got me confused with Fred Flintstone. <laughs> Liberty Bell. Another Liberty Bell. One more. I'm a millionaire. We were very proud of that Liberty job, Bell. I remember. <laughs> the Fred Flintstone thing. No! <laughs> oh, that please, please, please. Was it was also very early. Mm -hmm. Hey, looking oh, good. What do you want, pal? Hey, sure. mister. First season looking extra. Well, a doody doody do to you too, fine side. You could always tell them because they had well, big spaces the between their teeth. They the teeth didn't overlap. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I hear you, buddy. Whoa, <laughs> moon. <laughs> now that's sexy. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love the long walk. <laughs> Of this. Uh, uh, I was like the she was off screen for me. most of this. Nothing between me and Princess Cashmere. Princess who? Hey, my photo. Your, Your photo. photo. Uh -oh. Why you little? Why you big? Oh. Well, I also remember March strangling. Yeah, I think that's. I think that was the first time someone else strangled no. Homer. Well, Bart has strangled Homer back. Yeah. yeah. But where will I sleep? My suggestion Good pose. is for you yeah, to sleep no, in the film you created. Some great layouts in this okay. episode. Is this the first one you directed from the start, or did you have seven from the beginning? No, actually, this was in production also. Oh, so, right, but I kind of went dear. back in and reworked Here. it from scratch. Any soul left. You need these. I know I will. It seems like the animation's progressing a little bit. Did, did, does it look that way to you? Yeah, I, I think by the end of the first season, by what was the last show of the season, the foreign exchange student episode, the animation had really come up. It was we could we could tell, you know, at the studio that it, it was looking much better. The timing was sharper. There's still there's still some mushiness in some of the acting. Some of the turns are kind of. We got Barney's kind of hair sour. color. For the first several episodes, it was there yellow. Open beer in the fridge. So this, oh, this yeah. was based you on a tiny apartment there. that Jim Reardon and a few other animators and I shared. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like my apartment. apartment. <laughs> <laughs> with the big spool. Up with the, the, yeah. Like and, Homer's not made of money. You know, uh, Don't listen to a Mark. Couch <laughs> from an alley and... <laughs> Oh, <laughs> well, I thought always a Bogart. Bogart. Barney is really <laughs> ugly. <laughs> There's a Humphrey Bogart poster in one corner, Simpsonized. So. No, Barn. I just want to crawl into bed. So yourself, Homer. <laughs> the same way you spent all that time on that anagram, I, I spent like a day designing this this background, this location. <laughs> I wonder when Dad's coming home. Oh, I, this is a. I remember a note in the direction I gave to to uh, you know to to not have the um, ow, ow, right. anymore, and it just make it lip smacking because I got tired of the. Ow, ow, yeah. ow. Oh, I like no. I like the goof proof mug. <laughs> do you think you're doing, Simpson? What do you mean, sir? I mean this. I have to say this is one of my, even though it's one of the earliest things I directed, it's one of power plant Simpson. One of the scenes I'm most proud of. I mean, this exchange between Burns and Homer, I think, came out really, really well. It was, it's not often it doesn't that it comes out the way you really want it to, but just the cutting and the timing of this, the animation, 
is really pleased with, with this scene. I, I think it made an impression because right around here was when Burns Mania set in with the writers. For a while, you couldn't stop the writers from pitching Mr. Burns. Well, stories. just the way the way he was written, I could tell like this guy's going to be a big character. So I spent a lot of time on like you know unwrinkling the paper and. He's posed like a window. <laughs> I love moving him over there. And I like the, the little hidden, you know, moves and stuff where he just appears at the window over the cut. I'm asking I don't really know, sir. Simpson! Well, I'm going to... Yeah, by the beginning of the second season, after Swartzwelder wrote... Burns runs for governor. All anybody wanted to write was Mr. Burns. <laughs> simplicity itself. It's just so pathetic, <laughs> this scene. Now return to your work. Tell no one of what transpired here. <laughs> I like that hidden turn from the smile to the sad face. You don't see the emotion actually change. Uh, oh, good pose too, with Bart hanging upside down and then oh. off the couch. Still kind of ticked off. Yeah. I just thought this was a really nice layout with the kids hugging Homer. Hello, Mark. Feels very natural. It's me, Homer. The kids with their are dad. Are you still mad? You are still mad. Don't need to say it. I'm your loving I think she gave up on breaking like up with him in later seasons. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to have an affair pretty soon. Come on, Mark! Please forgive me! This is something we don't do as I'm much sorry. with the extreme close-ups the character way up in the oh, you don't foreground and the person behind him. Yes, I do, because I'm hungry. My clothes are smelling and I'm tired. I've been thinking, Homer. <laughs> and you know what bothers me the most about this whole thing? You taught Bart a very bad lesson. Your boy idolizes you. Oh, he does not. It's hard to he think of some things to say. I just want to enjoy the episode. I know. <laughs> objects, he's going to think that it's okay. You owe your son better than that, Homer. So, what should I do, Marge? Well, I think you should take Bart to meet this exotic belly oh, person. a long time going with it. Is that a laugh? Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Real Marge got John, what were you thinking? I want to apologize for <laughs> Marge got going to make some kind of point here. Homer did such awful things in the seasons to come, and she just took it. <laughs> she was really mad about this photograph. <laughs> <laughs> and that's actually based on the Seventh Vale uh, Club in Hollywood. That exterior. Not that I would know what it looks like. We actually went around Hollywood taking pictures of strip clubs for the exteriors of these, these buildings. Forget that! I'm teaching my boy a lesson. Is she here or not? Try Mud City. The fact that the photo could turn Homer into the city's number one swinger, too. <laughs> Even people in nudie clubs were impressed by how raunchy that photograph. <laughs> it's just so tawdry. Hey, princess! It's me! The guy from the snapshot! Oh! Oh, hi! Wow, now... Now there's an action figure. I think you should make those. Look, I'm here because I want to girl. show girls. Yeah. Uh -huh. I also want my boy to find out that you're more than... No, it was, I, I can't draw uh, attractive women very well in this style. And the, to be able to actually do that was... I, I had no idea that we could actually pull it off. Tell him a little bit about yourself. I, I always like the look of, you know, that it was still very cartoony, but it had a... And like kind of a sexiness to it. And a Thank you very much. Once again, Homer unaware of that he's moving. But I think that's just foolish. Men must have hearts. I remember when when I read the script that this seemed like a really complicated setup to to set up, you know, to get him up in a cage hanging over the stage and the show going on <laughs> underneath him. It's a very gratuitous story movie. Oh, the only point of it was to make you animate a production oh, over. Thank you. Thank you for that, John. <laughs> Hey, it's the guy from the picture. Homer Simpson. 
Sorry, but interesting response. Guy <laughs> guy lying motionless on stage. <laughs> it's an honor to have a real. I remember the character designer must have designed Simpson, fifty Hardy different Hardy. international showgirls for the season. Oh yeah, I remember that. And only mile. four are ever seen on screen. But Mr. Burke actually recognized Homer Simpson there. That's, that's probably the only time ever. That's true. He recognizes like them sometimes within an episode. If it's within 72 hours. <laughs> it's within an episode. It, but then for the next episode, he won't remember. Sometimes we forget to write that in, and, and we have to remind ourselves to remember that Mr. Burns doesn't remember. Look out! Yeah. <laughs> wow, this is that was really complicated to lay out. <laughs> He's alive. Well, I always thought that one of the amazing things about this show was that we would throw these incredibly uh, complicated uh, scene des uh, descriptions at you guys. You know, you know, the stage full of dancing girls or or a parade of elephants or whatever, mm -hmm. and you and you'd actually do it. <laughs> It was actually a reverse incentive system. We just noticed the best shows were the ones where we made the animators do the most work. I to say to all the sons out there, to all the boys, to all the men, to all of us, it's about women and how they are not mere objects with curves. It's a fine place to, to finally spring that on me, guys. <laughs> A microphone in front of me. Sisters, our grandmas, our aunts, our nieces and nephews. Well, not our nephews. They are our mothers. And you know something, folks? <laughs> ridiculous as this sounds, I would rather feel the sweet breath of my beautiful wife on the back of my neck as I sleep than stuff dollar bills into some stranger's G-string. Am I wrong? Or am I right? <laughs> <laughs> my wife gets the cutest little thing right here. Smile like Susie. Oh, so cute. Where's the wife? mine. You know, I always love that guy in the back screaming, bless the wife. I better give you. Oh, my God, look at those tears. Yeah. How did Marge get here? I, You know that? I've always wondered. I guess when he was on the phone talking to her, when he's saying he's going to one last place, he must have mentioned what the place was. So. I hope so. Yeah, I just, I just directed the thing. You know? <laughs> Wow. She just needed to be there. Another good one. Well, thank you. They still look so crude, the first season ones. Well, I feel a little bit like Walt Disney watching Steamboat Willie, you know? <laughs> yeah, but, but you can see that the staging was there, the... The, the acting, you know, sometimes the animation was a little mushy, but, but the turns were, you know, they were there. <laughs>